Well, continue. <sighs> meaning of this? Why was I brought here? Because, unfortunately, Your Excellency, I do not have time to come to you. Uh, why? Why should we meet at all? Because uh, you are the governor, and I'm merely your military advisor. I have nothing to discuss with you. Wrong, General. Dangerously wrong. Uh, uh, uh. The prisoner has made some rather damaging statements, naming you. You know very well he's lying. It's not a question of what I believe, but the government may believe. And the government will believe you. Naturally, since the revolution is spreading, they don't need you. But I do. Which brings us to our business. I'm prepared to keep you in office and to protect you from being where that man is now. You live on brandy. You can have your fill. And I'm willing to forget what that man has told me. At what price? We'll keep it all in the family. You're about to become my father-in-law. Well, General? You know my daughter is already betrothed. The bans have been published at the cathedral. She's to be married next week. To a penniless aristocrat who has nothing to offer but a family name no longer of any importance. He's poor, yes, but he's brave and loyal, an honorable soldier. He's the wrong husband for Consuelo. She loves him. That boy, that children, what do they know about love? I know how to make her happy. You ask me to sell her, to save myself? I expect you. I command you to send Captain Fernandez on a mission from which you will not return. I can't do that. Consuelo is all I have. Her happiness means more than life to me. More than your own life, General? Are you sure? <laughs> Why have you stopped? He's dead. You were saying, General, there is something you cannot do or that you refuse to do. I beg you. I beg you from a father's heart. Captain Fernandez will leave within 24 hours, unmarried and alone. I don't know how to do what you ask. Do you know how to die, General? Do you know how to die? Not an easy question to answer for any man particularly in the days when such things actually happen. When the only law for those who had the strength to seize control was, he may take who has the power and he may keep who can. In the days when creatures like Colonel Sangriento, the bloody one whom you have just seen, spread terror with torture, took whatever they desired, and this man chose to possess young, lovely Consuelo de la Barra. Not the sort of match a loving father would willingly arrange for his beautiful daughter, would you say? Ah, but then the flesh is weak, particularly when it is threatened by an appointment with quaint devices such as these. Primitive, but very very persuasive. Our story is called The Bride Who Died Twice, and it is enacted for you tonight by these distinguished players. Marla Powers, Joe DeSantis, Eduardo Cianelli, Robert Colbert, and Carl Dahn. Now sit back and brace yourselves. It's so much less painful if you don't flinch. 
I didn't expect you until this evening. I couldn't wait till then. Oh. <laughs> roses. Well, there'll be many more roses. Roses all our days. Oh, I love you. I love mm. you. Always. Forever. Say it for me. And when I wake, if there be an awakening, I shall wake to the touch of your lips on my mouth. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> no. oh, darling. Forgive me, Captain. I must see you. Yes, sir. He seems displeased. Oh, but not with us, Querido. We're not married yet. Oh, come. Father? I must speak with the captain privately. Something wrong? Consuelo, I've told you many times. Military matters do not concern you. This is a military matter. Your promotion. They've given you your promotion as a wedding gift. Consuelo, please go to your room. Yes, father. Antonio, I'll see you this evening for dinner. Yes, Carita. Excuse me, sir. I, I, I am not well. I'm sorry to hear that. I like you. You know I do. I trust you. I can trust you, can't I? Of course, sir. Soldiers, even old, useless relics like me, Forgotten on the shelf, pushed into retirement with empty, meaningless titles must do as they're told. And good soldiers do what they are told to do. Right? Yes, sir. Well, then, I'm sending away, Captain. Away, sir, just at this time? Why? What kind of a soldier are you to ask me why? Your job, my job, is to obey. I've been instructed to inform you that you must leave immediately tonight to command the scout patrols in the mountains. Whose idea was that, General? You or Colonel Sangriento? You have no right to ask me that. No, I haven't. As you said, General, we must both obey our orders. Consuelo is all I have. She's so young, and so are you. When you come back... Don't you mean if I come back, General? God will watch over you. I love her, too. And in my love, there is no selfishness. Of course, I cannot lecture you on the meaning of true love, nor the duty of an officer and a gentleman. Must I tear myself to pieces? My pride, my Dignity, what more can I say to you? Nothing, General. Nothing at all. To your safe return. I would like to believe we part as friends. 
Will there be anything else, General? No. God forgive me. May God forgive me. doing here? You should be in bed. It's so late. He's gone. He's gone to fight the rebels in the mountains. His letter says he couldn't even say goodbye to me for fear I wouldn't let him go without me. But you don't need to read it. Do you, Father? I'm sorry. Are you? Why? It's what you wanted, isn't it? I want you to be safe, happy. Then why? Why did you do this? I've always tried to do the best for you. As long as what was best for me was best for you. Now, Father, you have broken my heart. Consuelo. Consuelo. Don't ever turn away from me. When I speak to you, you're still my daughter. You will treat me with respect. I cannot, Father. I cannot. <laughs> I missed you. 
I missed you so very much. Please don't lock me out of your life. Then you have nothing to tell me. Yes. Yes, I have. I have bad news. Consuelo. He's dead. Antonio is dead. in charge of the church to announce that your daughter will marry me three weeks from today. Three weeks for me an eternity. At least you must look like a happy bride. Ah, uh, General, this is my house now, and my bride. You are a guest, you know. I give the orders, General. You need another brandy. <laughs> ah, little one. I do not deceive myself that you are happy. That would really be too much to ask. And I would not want you to appear so. If only it were as beautiful as you. Beauty. And the beast. You see, I realize I'm not attractive. But the handsome face isn't everything. You look tired, querida. Why don't you go up to your room and rest? As soon as the guests leave, I'll join you. I want to propose another toast. Oh, no. To my illustrious father in law.
And from me, the very best of good nights to you, Colonel. Get out, you grinning little ape. And tomorrow, I do not wish to be disturbed unless it's extremely urgent, you understand? Understand. Why, Colonel, you do me an injustice. I'll do you an injustice if I'm disturbed. you owned her, but she's not yours any longer. I've been cheated. I've been robbed. Made a fool of. I will not forgive. I will not forget. Remember that. I will not forget. Do you give orders here too, Colonel Sangriento? In the presence of the dead? <laughs> Senor, you must not disturb the dead. 
Amigo, how can the dead be disturbed by anything that lives? Please. A minute is all I need. Just a minute. But why? Who are you? I am one who loved her. She was to be my wife. <laughs> Colonel Sangriento took her away from me. Dios mío. I want to see her face just one last time. You must have loved her very much. I still do. I always will. I am with you, senor, but this is an and impossible... Please help me to open this so I may see her again. Please. Perdóname, Dios mío. to escape the rebels.
still say you did not see him? No one came into the tomb? the next victim. I hope that will not be necessary. Another bargain, Colonel. Consuelo is dead. No, she is alive. Her heart beats for her captain. You have lost your mind. Or have you lost yours? To be suddenly so brave? You still want to live? What have you left me to live for? What is he to live for? Yet he clings to life until it is torn from him. What is it you want from me now? I want the truth. And I will get it. Now answer me, General. Where is Fernandez? Captain Fernandez died in the mountains. No, General, no. He is still alive. You yourself gave me the report of his death. As it was given to me. Fernandez is alive. Consuelo is alive. Answer me, General. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> the terrible Sangriento, gone mad. Mad because a girl would rather die than be his bride. Mad and hunting for a corpse and a ghost. I don't think we'll get anything out of him, Colonel. Shall we continue? No. I have an idea. Let's give the general a taste of that, too. But not too much. I want to talk to him again. Later. Later, general. Later. After I've found the corpse and the ghost. Especially the corpse. Take him. You'll excuse me. I think the general is capable of taking off his own coat. first test rather well. I congratulate you. In fact, I confess I'm surprised to find that there's manhood in you after all. You haven't found them. I'm in no hurry. You should be. Why? You have so little time left. I have all the time I need. You like to think so, but you're not sure. Not anymore. Perhaps you intercepted some of the letters I sent to the government. What letters? That you won't know until it's too late. You're lying. There were no letters. I suppose they were, and they reached the government, and soldiers are on their way. You have robbed the people. You have imprisoned and tortured the governor. You're hunting the governor's daughter, having forced her to marry you. Whatever has been done, I'm only a colonel. You are a general, my superior. As for your daughter, my wife, she will be returned to me, her lawful husband, by the priests who presided at our marriage and you will arrange it. Alto! Show your papers. Oh, papers, senor, what papers? Nobody goes out tonight without a signed pass by Coronel Sangriento himself. Well, we know nothing about that. We are just country people. Oh, Juan, do not let them take our borough. He's all we have in the world. Oh, please, senor, help us. My wife is not well. What's the matter with her? She is very tired. We have not slept in two days. You see, we are running away from her father. He did not want us to get married. We are not criminals. Juan, please, they must help us. Where are you trying to go? We have friends across the river. Parece que están bien. Déjalo, sir. Vayan con Dios. Gracias. Oh, 
el coronel. ¡Chaño! ¡Alto! 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 ¡Ahí un disparo! ¡A un lado! ¡A un lado! This is the Marilla Sergeant. I want to take them alive. Captain Bartolome Antonio Fernandez, stand before us. You are charged with a crime. It is our duty to judge your guilt or innocence. Proceed. Item. That with intent to deceive, you conspired with Senora Consuelo Sangriento to administer an Indian drug which gave her the appearance of the dead. Item that you entered and violated a sealed tomb. Item that by stealth, you stole and abducted the person of Signora Sangriento. It is petitioned by His Excellency, General de la Vara, that his daughter be returned to her lawful husband. You may speak. I admit I entered the tomb where Consuelo de la Vara lay in her casket. I admit I carried her away, but as God is my witness and his servants are my judges, I deny that I have broken any laws of God or man. We're wasting time. Colonel Sangriento, you brought us here to judge this man. If you have no respect for the church, please have some respect for justice. Continue. I swear I am innocent. A traitor brought me here. I was ordered to fight the Indians in the mountains. When I was shot down, it was not by Indians. The bullet came from one of my own soldiers. Say, rather, one of his hired murderers. This court is being used by him. I accuse Colonel Sangriento of betraying his trust, of criminal misuse of powers mistakenly granted him by the government, and of seeking now to use you the servants of God as his weapons of vengeance. That is a lie. He speaks the truth. I say so. I who stand responsible for the matter now before you. Your statement is already in the records. I have more to say. Then speak. It is I who should be on trial. I am guilty. Guilty of betraying a father's most sacred trust putting my own welfare before that of my child. You know, Father, I had promised my daughter to Captain Fernandez. You yourself boasted the bands. And then this, this man threatened me. And because I was weak and afraid to die, I did as he requested. I dispatched Captain Fernandez to an almost certain death, and I sold my daughter. Can you ever forgive me? If a person enters a marriage through fear or force, such a marriage can be invalid. Judgment in this case will be given tomorrow morning. You will give judgment now, and the correct judgment. If you know what's good for you,
Contreras. Oh, of course I do, Lieutenant. You reported to my regiment just before I was sent away. I find this very unpleasant, Captain. But I have been instructed to inform you that you are to be executed as a traitor. Tried and condemned to be shot, publicly disgraced by Colonel Sangriento. Well, forget about me, Lieutenant. The priests were to have made their decision. Yes. Well, what was it? That your lady was not to be returned to Colonel Sangriento. Not to be returned to Sangriento? Well, that is the news I prayed for, Lieutenant. But, Captain, after the decision was rendered, the priests were arrested in the cathedral. Arrest? On what grounds? For inciting the people to revolution. No. Now God will punish him. Surely God will punish him. From my heart, Captain, I'm sorry. I would like to shake your hand, sir. Thank you. I don't blame you for loving a captain. But she's mine. All mine. Take a good look, Captain, for the last time. <laughs>
Venezuela.